Yo, what is up? This is Joshua Casper and you're watching Wing Sound. I'm going to be showing you the audio effect rack inside of Alien Live. The first thing I'm going to do is come into my browser up here and come to audio effects and bring the audio effects rack into my audio channel. And I've just got a little homemade loop in there. There are some other radials that I can click, and this is the fully expanded view of the audio effect rack. I have macro knobs, I have two different sections to drop some audio effects, and I've got this map mode, and I also have the chain selector. First thing you want to do is drop an audio effect here. And I just want to show you if I get rid of that and I drop this auto filter here, it sets it up the same way. It gives me a new chain and it drops my audio effect. I can drag this auto pan in the front or in the back of the auto filter. You want to be careful, you see where this highlight is, not to drop it outside of the rack because then it's going to be affecting everything in the rack instead of just this first chain. I'm going to drop this auto pan after this auto filter. And what I want to do is I want to assign some of these parameters to this macro one. And as I turn this macro one from the left to the right, I want to increase the frequency here. And as the increase in frequency happens, I want to add an auto pan as well. And I want to do that at the same kind of rate. So when the auto filter is completely open, I want the pan amount just to be going straight left to right. The first thing I want to do is map the frequency here, which is right here. This is the box we're looking for. And I'm going to right click and hit map to macro one. And as you can see, it's automatically just brought it all the way down to the lowest point, which is 26 hertz. So now it's all the way off. And when I crank it over, it comes all the way up. Now the cool thing about the audio effects rack is I can add many different parameters to this macro knob. So like I said, I want the amount of the pan to increase as the auto filter goes up in frequency. So what I have to do now is come over to the amount on the auto pan, right click and map to frequency. Now it's renamed the macro one frequency and I just want to make note of that because when I right click I want to map it to frequency. Now as I turn this you can see that the frequency is increasing and the pan amount is increasing as well. So now I'm controlling both of those parameters with just this one macro knob. So if we go ahead and listen Wing Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos featuring Ableton Live. Join the conversation by following Wing Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.